So I got a question in my intro to Udon Sharp video from Clayton HD. How can I make it that the mirror toggles for everyone in the world when one player toggles it? To make the mirror toggle for all players at the same time, we're going to need to use a network event. Networking in general can be tricky to understand at first, so I'm going to explain some basics. When you and a friend join a world in VRChat, your computers download one copy each of that world to use. You and your friend are not in the same world, but are in identical copies of that world and the other person's avatar is transposed into your copy of that world on your computer. Without networking, if you do anything in that world, like open a door or pick up an object, your friend will not see that change in the world you are making. If you want people to see and experience things at the same time, you need to network that object or event. In this case, toggling a mirror on and off is an event that needs to be networked. I'm gonna add a network event to the mirror so all players can see when it's turned on and off. Using the basic mirror toggle script that I set up in the intro to Udon Sharp video, in the interact method, on a new line, I can add send custom network event. And when I add an open parentheses, I get a few options. VRC, Udon, com, interface, network, event, target, and that followed by period all and period owner varieties. The all and owner types are the ones you can actually use. All means that everyone in this world will receive the event or command. Owner means that only the object's owner is going to receive the event or command. The object owner is almost always the player who's been in the world the longest, or is the last player to pick up that object. Since the goal is to have all players see the mirror toggle at the same time, we're going to use all. After all, add a comma with two double quotation marks. In between these quotation marks, we're going to add the name of the method we would like to call and have every player do at the same time. Right now we only have the interact method, so we need to make a new method to place all of the original mirror toggle code into and take it out of the interact method. This is so when the sphere is interacted with, it will send a custom network event out to everyone instead of just toggling the mirror for that one person who clicked it. Under the interact method, type public void. This sets up your method, and now we just need to name it. You can name it whatever you want. In this case, I'm calling it mirror stuff. Just like naming variables, there can't be any spaces. I'm using Pascal case for naming my methods. Pascal case capitalizes the first letter of every word. It's not necessary to use Pascal case, but getting used to it will help you read your own code and other people's code. After the name of the method, add an open and close parentheses and an open and close curly brackets. Cut and paste your if else statement from the interact method into the new method between the curly brackets. Now in your custom network event, add the name of your new method. In my case, it's mirror stuff. Save the script and test it out. Because I'm testing a networking event, I need to build two test clients. I can do this by changing the number of clients to two in the local testing panel. Beware, the more clients you launch, the more demanding on your computer it'll be. And there we go, it works. But does it really? If someone joined late to the world after the mirror was already turned on, they'd be out of sync with everyone else. The mirror would be on for players that have been in the world for a while, but it'd be off for the new player. And every time the mirror toggles, it would toggle for everyone and be the opposite for the late joiners. To fix this, we're going to use a udon synced variable and the on deserialization method. When a player joins a world and they're not the only person in that world, the on deserialization method gets triggered. We can add the on deserialization method to our code and have the mirror active state change to match the players who have already been in the world longer. To add the method on a new line, type public override void on deserialization open and close parentheses and open and close curly brackets. In this method, we can copy the mirror stuff methods code and paste it into the on deserialization method. However, when the late joiner joins, it will check if our mirror is on bool is true or false, then change the mirror state to the opposite of that. We want the mirror to be set to the same state as the mirror is on bool. So we need to change the if condition from if mirror is on equals false to if mirror is on equals true. Also since the point of this method is to set the mirror to the same state as others already in the world, we should take out the lines that set the mirror is on bool to true and false. Lastly, we need to make the bool mirror is on into a udon synced variable. Up at the beginning of the script where we stated the mirror is on variable, we will need to add udon synced enclosed in brackets at the beginning of the variable. Now every time the script is synced, the mirror is on variable will be synced across all users to match the owner of the object the script is on. In this case, it will be the person who has been in the world the longest. Don't forget to save your script. 
Back in Unity under the Toggle Udon Sharp script, you'll find a synchronization method option with three options, none, continuous, and manual. None will ignore any network events or synced variables. We don't want that. Continuous will sync variables and run on deserialization at regular intervals. I've seen it run a little faster than once a second. We could use this, but it will continue to run on deserialization when we don't need it to. And lastly, manual will run on deserialization when someone joins the world, but not again unless you specifically ask for things to be synced in your script by running the request serialization method. Since in this case I only need the mirror to be synced once, and every time the mirror is toggled a network event will tell each player to change the mirror's active state, I'm going to choose manual. And that's it! Now you have a synced mirror that everyone in the world can see when it's toggled on and off. This can be applied to any object that you need to sync, whether it's active or inactive. Thanks for watching.